new opponent. Let us see. Hmm. Yeah, so second half of the show, I'm going to be coasting on the opposite sides of the board as well as trying to keep queens on. So that could be uh, potentially interesting. Might try and finish with a bit of one minute chess. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh. Okay, oh, been challenged by, sure I got a challenge just now, maybe I'll pen started a game. Okay, Summit Sing 1, 2, 3. Uh, D4, and oh, what to play here, maybe some sort of gambit. I don't really know how the, how the Benko gambit works, but uh, apparently some good players play it from from time to time, so we're going to go with it. Uh, is my opponent going to take on b5? I don't know. Uh, also, if you have any ideas for, for what uh, stuff you want to see John play in uh, John's Blunderful Games coming up for the break in about half an hour's time, then do, do either tweet to him, at Hong Kong John, or, you know, let him know in the chat. Uh, he is always keen for for lots of ideas. That way he's got an excuse when things go horribly wrong, as uh, they somewhat inevitably do. So yeah, idea of Benko Gambit is you give away a B-pawn, uh, and then something happens in stage 2, stage 3 you win. Um, no, no, stage 2 is something, something involving uh, pressure on the A and B file in conjunction with that bishop on G7. Um, yeah, anything more detailed than that, I'm not really too familiar with. Am I supposed to go knight a6 or bishop a6? I think the answer is yes. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do all of those. Uh, now I'm threatening bishop takes b5, followed by chomping on e4. That e4 pawn is a central pawn and is therefore worth more than my b pawn. In the meantime, I'm just going to launch some pieces vaguely towards uh, the... Queen side in the centre and all of those various places. All of them good places. So let me double the rooks. Maybe c4 was more accurate there, but nah. Expecting f4 maybe here, and then I'm gonna go c4 anyway. E5, knight g4. Uh, other than that, various plans, knight c5 attacking here, maybe jumping into d3. He can never move that bishop on b1 because b2 drops. And it's just really difficult to play this position. Uh, and I am managing to build up a little bit of a lead on the clock. That's probably the most surprising thing about tonight's broadcast so far. Is the... Uh, I've managed to play okay, but I've managed to play quickly. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely coming as somewhat of a surprise to me. Even if it isn't to you guys. Just going to retreat my retreat to my queen back along this long diagonal. Looking to grab the pawn on e4 in some positions. Knight g4 is a bad move now, mostly because of queen takes g4. Let's go h5 and prepare that. Wouldn't be at all surprised to see h3 here. But queen e2 is of course sensible as well. I have to say I'm quite impressed with how my opponent's playing this so far. Uh, this knight is definitely misplaced. But where is it actually supposed to go? Huh. Ah, uh, let's just go into c5 and swap a couple of pieces off and keep up some sort of pressure. We're fine here. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, see, I think I'm not actually prefer giving up pawns when I when the idea is just to mate your opponent. None of this. Uh, nuanced positional play on the uh, king side. Definitely seems to be a bridge too far for my uh, my ability. Bishop goes back to g1 here, rook b3, h3, knight goes back, bishop goes back in again. Seems all a very predictable way for the game to continue. h3 does in fact happen. Gonna go back to h6 just to keep lines open for the bishop and various other things. Uh, treble on the B file. All the pressure over here. Don't want to swap the queens off, so just going to keep increasing the pressure. Um, Q4 
queen over to a7 maybe. Would like to jump into e3 if I get a chance. Uh, a few tactics involving the pin on the B line in some positions. Uh, I don't know if I'm threatening anything just yet, but uh, but we're getting there. There will be a tactic at some point in the future, one day. Uh, I, it's annoying. I'm just winning a piece with queen takes queen. Uh, purists look away here. Uh, it, it, it's fine. I've I've only done this because it wins a piece. Uh, I, it, it technically it won't count if my opponent resigns. I mean, this is okay. In fact, I ended up a whole rook ahead, so, um, yeah. Yeah, apologies for that, but uh, it was just by far the best move on the board. And he does resign now, so you didn't, you didn't get subjected to too much time without the queens. But uh, I'll see if I can make that the only time I allow a, a direct queen swap. Uh, let's see if we can start off with 1f4. If my opponent goes e5 trying to gambit a pawn, I will go um, e4 and transition into a... Or transpose, I should say, into a king's gambit. Uh, okay. Let's play some sort of stone wall. And I'm just going to castle kingside and throw lots of pawns at my opponent's king. That is my solid plan. Uh, for for sort of beginning to mid range uh, sort of club players out there, uh, stone wall structures are very very good opening to sort of start with because uh, you get very quick control over the center. It allows you to play in a very similar way in quite a few games when you're sort of getting used to things. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, there's not really an awful lot of horrible things that can happen to you when you have this structure. And uh, it also allows you to go for really aggressive stuff later on. Uh, even though what we've done is started off very solidly. I'm just going to make him on h7 in this game. I've decided it. Um, I don't know. It, it, it might not happen. But I have a feeling it might. Um, so let's just... Keep on putting pieces on aggressive squares. Okay, f5. What we need is some more open lines here, guys. Knight e4 is the move that vaguely annoys me here. Uh, blocking a few things out. But maybe I can take take and play knight g5. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not, I'm not too bothered with calculating right now. Is f6 a move? Pawn takes f6. Queen g3, king there. It is a move, it's just not a very good move. Okay, let's go knight in. I really want to sacrifice lots of stuff here. I might be getting carried away, but um, that is what, uh, what, that's what this show is all about. Huh. So yeah, key idea here is something like f6, g6, queen h4 into h6 and mate him on all of the squares. Hmm... What are we doing? F5, Queen H4, F6, my opponent survives. That's all very annoying. I'm not all that convinced by some of the moves I've been playing here, guys. But hey ho. Um, 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 what about queen here, h6, rook takes f5? Uh, I think I've pretty much come to the conclusion that most of what I've done so far is pretty bad. But, uh, well, from the stage of going f5, pretty much. But what we're going to do is we're going to carry on throwing pieces at my opponent until I lose all of my pieces, or I give mate. Not certain which one of those is more likely right now. Probably the losing all of the pieces thing. But, uh... Can I sack an exchange with bishop there? Well, probably rook c5 is slightly more sensible. Does at least, um... Still keep me, uh... In the game. I'm not dropping too much time for the moment. 
You'll notice that knight on h5 has been on pre for a while. My opponent's very reluctant to take it off because I can recapture with the rook and then maybe rook h5 and then maybe something. Uh, in, re in reality, the maybe something is probably nothing at all. Uh, so I'm probably just in lots of trouble. I can save the piece with knight f3, but that would allow another queen swap. And frankly, we're just not ready for that. So we're going to carry on carrying on. But uh, could be losing our first game of the evening. Or possibly we might just be uh, attempting to flag our opponents from a lost position. That good old uh, go-to moment when everything is going very, very badly. And my opponent takes and he goes F6 and he goes, well, I'm a piece up for absolutely nothing. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Well, what I'm going to try and do is flag you. Uh, be nice if you let me go bishop e7 here, but e3, bishop e7, queen d5 is a very nice idea. Oh dear, he's found e3. Well, let's go queen back here. Now, maybe we get to mate our opponent with bishop there. Mm, probably we're not going to manage to get that far, but my opponent is down to 28 seconds. He offers the exchange of queens. I think about it for all of a millisecond and go, no... Queen goes into e4 perhaps here, rook e1, rook e8, uh, h4, Harry the h pawn is late to the party, but uh, will it come just in time to save my position? My opponent forces off the exchange of queens at the cost of a piece, well, that was unfestive of him. Ah, uh, well, he, he deserves everything that happens to him now, and uh... I don't know. I need to save the uh, the pawn. Uh, oh dear, that move was bad. That move was bad, guys. Oh, knight d3 was better than the move he just played. Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't move any pieces. Uh, rook here, maybe? King up. Ah, oh, and I am picking up the pawn. My opponent has definitely messed this up. But uh, in a, you know, he's still winning kind of way. But he is definitely getting flagged with one and a half seconds. Do I feel guilty? Well, no. Oh, look, I'm even material up. See, I, w I was going to win over the board. Oh, you know, I mean, actually just to note here, guys, this position is still a draw. Because he can give up this knight on f6 for the pawn on c4. And it's a draw because of wrong coloured rook's pawn. Bishop doesn't control a8, so he just puts his king on a8, and it's a draw. Is that enough arrows? You get the idea. Anyway, good games to my opponent. Do manage to maintain a 100% record, more by luck than judgment. And let us start another series. See who we have coming up for you here. Uh... Oh, bit light on challenges at the moment here, guys. Don't forget, you can come online if you've got a chess.com account rated between 1,500 and 2,000. And, uh, yeah, just challenge 3-0 uh, T. Randall. And, uh, yeah, you can have your game live on Hack Attack. Possibly with a chance to be on the highlights on YouTube. Uh, don't forget, you can go and check out the highlights of the previous Hack Attack shows. I believe we've got something like 38 episodes online there now. Uh, so if you if, if this is the first time watching, then well, you're in for a treat. You can go and check all of those out uh, sometime after the show. Uh, where Where is everybody tonight? Is there is there something going on that I'm not aware of? Uh, okay, here we go. Here we have a challenge from Bran SH, 1814, from... The United States. Let's try a good old Budapest gambit. C4, E5. Now, knight G4 is the grown-up way to play after D takes E5. We're going to go knight E4 and try and mate our opponent. My opponent doesn't take the pawn. This makes me unhappy. Uh, take that pawn. We're going to keep putting pawns on pre until my opponent takes one of them. Uh, I don't know if this is an opening based on anything other than stubbornness. But, uh, since when was that a bad, uh, bad idea? Look, you can take the pawn on b5 in two different ways here. 
Wait, you're you're controlling the square three times. Honestly, it's it's a pawn. Anyone? I mean, I I'm just giving you this pawn out of uh, Christmas, you know, generosity here. Tis the season for goodwill to all men and mating them on the king's side at some point. But uh, in other news, I might move that knight on f6. Oh, he's taken the pawn. Fantastic. Yeah, you're going to regret that, man. I'm going to go knight here and f5. And what are you doing moving a piece for a second time in the opening just to grab a pawn? Feel, feels very careless to me. Uh, anyway, so bishop d3, f5. Um... I don't know if any of this is any good. Possible variation here. Bishop takes d2, queen h4. My opponent's going for it this way round. Well, I don't know. Let's go knight a6. Possibly jump into b4. So now, if queen b1, uh, if bishop takes e4, then something was happening. Uh, something good, probably. Uh, how was I going to play this position? I don't really know. Bishop b6 allows b4. I assume he's going to play b4 pretty quickly here. But maybe he won't. Ah, he takes that off. Knight into c5. Oh, now bishop f5. Look at these pieces invading ever so painfully. Queen c3, maybe c6 is a nice idea. Okay, first things first, let's stop my opponent from castling. So let's jump in there. Then solidify the knight. Stage 2 is solidifying the knight on d3 by following up with e4. Uh, that will hopefully persuade him to move the knight on f3. So that nastiness can happen on f2. So potentially knight d4. Knight takes f2. King takes f2. Bishop g4 picks up his queen. Uh, does it pick up his queen? He can play knight back. Pawn takes, pawn takes, queen there. Fun is happening. Uh, do we have anything stronger after knight d4? Queen h4 looks pretty strong. Queen h4. Let's go queen h4. Threatens mate in one. Can never be a bad move. So if h... If g3, we've got bishop h3 check, king g1. And then maybe something fun. Maybe even rook takes f2. Ooh. King g1, rook there, king there. We might be mating. Ah, he's a left. He's a left me mate in one on. Well, that was uh, an unexpected end to the game. Let's just take a look quickly at what was going on if he played g3, bishop h3 check, king here, and now the best move is moving the queen. But rook takes here leaves a queen on pre, so we have to play it. Rook g2, king f1, and is there a win in this position? Uh, rook d2. King here, rook takes there is mate. Oh, 